Hi guys, I hope that you're all doing really well. Um, first of all, I want to say, guys, let me know about my audio because I do have a little, well, it's kind of big actually, but I have a microphone. So let me know how my audio quality is throughout this entire video. Um, but today I'm really excited because I'm going to be reviewing the new launch from Zerzhov, which is called Torino 22. Now, I cannot tell you guys how much I have been anticipating this launch from Zerzhov. Because if you don't know, I am completely and utterly in love with Torino 21. I actually have my bottle here and I want to show you guys how much I have worn of Torino 21 since I got it um, a year ago. Can, I don't know if you guys can see, like I've, I'm almost out. Like I'm almost out of this fragrance completely because for me... I know I don't really speak about this fragrance that much on my channel. I have put it in several videos in the past, but I wear this fragrance, you guys, almost every single day. Because if you don't know something, I live in Dubai, so it's very, very hot, as you can imagine. And Torino 21 is possibly one of the most refreshing invigorating fragrances that I've ever tried in my life. It's minty, it's fresh, it's green, it's slightly herbaceous, it's citrusy. It is just incredible and that's why I was so excited um, to receive Torino 22 from Zerzhov. Now if you don't know, Torino 22 and 21 is in collaboration with the Nito ATP Finals in Turin. I think it is a really cool collaboration personally and one that I think works really really well. This video is in collaboration with Zerzhov but all opinions are my own as always guys. I am always going to tell you my honest thoughts of a fragrance or a brand etc. No matter if it's a collaboration or if it's not at all. I'm always going to tell you my honest thoughts. So I have had Torino 22 for uh, a few weeks now. So I have had the chance to wear it and experience it, experience the longevity, the projection, the compliments, everything. And as you guys can tell from my face, I absolutely love it. I did save the box so that I could open it up with you guys on camera. I've been wearing it nonstop, but I wanted to show you guys the box so you can get the full experience. If you guys have never experienced a Zerzhov fragrance, it's something that you should. If you're a fragrance lover, you need to kind of experience the luxury and elegance of opening up a Zerzhov fragrance. We have the beautiful leather box. It feels super luxurious, very high high quality with obviously the Zerzhov logo on the top and I love the color it's like a beautiful rich kind of maroon burgundy slightly purplish color anyway I'm gonna open it up so you guys can see as you guys know if you have bought a Zerzhov fragrance it comes in a beautiful little blanket and then you have the fragrance inside right here and I did want to mention that this fragrance is a part of the Join the Club collection, the JTC collection, just in case you were wondering if you're a Zerzhov fan and you know, you know from the bottle, but just in case. I'm going to go ahead and read the notes so that you guys can get a better idea of how the fragrance smells. And then I'm going to tell you my experience with it and if I think it is worth buying or if it's worth not buying. In the top of Torino 22, you have bergamot, saffron and eucalyptus. The heart notes are clary sage, mate, and gaiac wood, or mate, 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 not really sure how to pronounce that one, but it's a tea. And in the base, you have musk and dry woods. Guys, 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 I am completely in love with Torino 22, and I'm going to tell you why. For me, this is a very versatile fragrance, and I feel like it is completely, completely unisex. Maybe Torino 21 could have leaned a little more masculine in my opinion, even though myself I wore it every single day. I feel like Torino 21 more so appealed to men rather than women. Not Torino 22. This is a completely unisex fragrance that is extremely addictive. In the top, you definitely feel the freshness. You feel a little bit of bergamot. You feel a, an overall freshness, a slight greenness, but you definitely feel an overall freshness as soon as you spray it. I feel the eucalyptus slightly, but as soon as you spray it, you're gonna be hit with this addictive, quite airy sweetness. And oh my God, is it incredible. Overall, I get this kind of fresh, slightly spicy, sweet, woody fragrance. 
very addictive and I'm gonna reiterate that word again because when I've been wearing Torino 22 the compliments on this fragrance you guys are absolutely insane even Pierre has been wearing it himself like I said it's totally unisex and my partner has been wearing this one a lot as well I can smell it for hours and hours and hours and it really smells addictive it has a very big sillage but overall I have to say the DNA of the fragrance is not very heavy. It doesn't feel very woody, very thick and very um, dark. It's quite a light fragrance overall, but it travels, like it travels. There is a huge sillage with Trino 22. Everyone is gonna be able to smell you. It's kind of like the same way that Buckra Rouge 540 travels. Torino 22 travels in the same way. The combination of the freshness with the sweetness is super addictive and then you have a beautiful dry woody transparent base and all together it just smells really wow the occasions that i like to wear this one is during the day i love that it still has a fresh aspect to it it never goes too heavy like i said too deep too dark too woody it does remain quite light and transparent but it lasts a long time if you know what i mean i've been wearing it if i go to the mall or i'm going for a lunch with a friend or i'm going to a meeting that's when i've been wearing torino 22 but i would also actually recommend this fragrance for a date or even a night out because i do like i said for the 50th time in this video i do find this fragrance to be very addictive and very sexy on the skin um, I also recommend it for all seasons. I feel like this fragrance could work well in all seasons. I've been wearing it in the high heat in Dubai and it's not becoming cloying and overwhelming on my skin. And I do recommend it as well for the fall and winter. I think it would smell absolutely beautiful. Again, like I said, longevity and projection is fantastic on this fragrance. It really lingers and leaves a beautiful sillage. Whether you're a man or a woman, you can totally wear Torino 22. It's the perfect unisex fragrance, in my opinion. I almost forgot, if you wanted to try this fragrance, Zozoff make the cutest little 15 ml that i have ever seen in my life you guys have to say look at how cute that is like it is just the cutest thing ever um so if you guys did want to try it they do sell the 15 ml of torino 22 if you wanted to test out the fragrance and give it a go before purchasing a full bottle this is always a great idea and i always recommend sampling that is it you guys thank you so much for watching this video i am really happy like i said to have this fragrance in my collection i was waiting for this fragrance for so many weeks when i knew that it was coming out and when i knew that it was launching i was so excited to get my hands on a bottle because you guys saw my bottle of torino 22 like it's looking quite empty right now I am definitely gonna need to pick up another one because I love it so much as a fresh scent and I actually love Torino 22 even more so I'm so happy right now you guys know my feelings about Zerzhov I absolutely adore the brand I think it's so luxurious so classy um, very refined and for me one of the top niche brands in the industry and on the market right now I absolutely love it and if you guys have never checked out a Zerzhov fragrance definitely do it even if you get some samples or you buy a bottle definitely worth checking out it is such a coherent luxury brand that i think is absolutely beautiful and that is it i am so happy uh thank you guys again let me know if you've checked out torino 22 or if you want to ask me any questions in the comments i'm super happy to answer it for you and that's all i have to say i think thank you guys for watching and i will talk to you soon Bye bye